So let's go ahead and solve the ODE x times y prime is equal to y times the natural log of x times y. Now this is going to use substitution, but before we use substitution we have to write it in a way that makes sense so we can use the substitution. So I'm going to divide everything through by y and get y prime over y is equal to, and then I can split up the natural logs into the natural log of x plus the natural log of y. Now just rewriting this in this simple fashion, we can see that the derivative of the natural log of y is actually this term over here. So here's my substitution. So I'm going to say, let's let u equal to the natural log of y. So when we do that, we're going to get du dx is equal to the derivative of the outside, which is 1 over y, times the derivative of the inside, y prime, which is y prime over y. And so we'll have this piece, y prime over y, will turn into du over dx, and that will turn into u. Now, making that substitution should make the problem a little bit easier. So now we have x times du dx is equal to the natural log of x plus u. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put all the x's, or I'll just put in all the u's to one side so we can actually see this as a function. I'll divide everything through by x. So I'm going to get du dx, and then I'm going to bring over the u to the other side, minus 1 over x times u is equal to, let's see, the natural log of x over x. All right. Now in this case, we have an integrating factor, which will be u of x is our integrating factor, which will be e to the integral of negative 1 over x dx, which simply turns into um, 1 over x. If I multiply each piece through by the integrating factor, I'm going to get 1 over x du dx minus 1 over x squared times u is equal to the natural log of x over x squared. Now this should be recognizable as a product rule. So if I write that as a product rule, I'm going to get d dx of 1 over x times u is equal to the natural log of x over x squared. So now all I have to do is integrate this thing. Okay, so let me just put this over here to the side so I can have some space to integrate. Okay, so, so now we've reduced the whole problem down into 1 over x times u is equal to the integral of the natural log of x divided by x squared dx. Now this I can use integration by parts int by parts and we see that we're going to get that as negative 1 over x minus the natural log of x over x plus c. So then we see our u is just going to be, if I multiply things through by x, I get negative 1 minus the natural log of x plus cx and I make my substitution, I just rewrite this back into the natural log of y is going to be equal to negative 1 minus the natural log of x plus cx. And so then you end up getting, raising both sides to the power of e, you get y is equal to e to the negative 1 minus the natural log of x plus c but you can actually cx but you can actually simplify this a little bit nicer because this is just turns into you can think of this as e to the cx minus 1 times e to the negative natural log of x so the whole thing should just simplify down to e to the cx minus 1 all divided by x because this piece here just turns into the 1 over x and that is my final answer for that.
Thank you.